In this video, we're overclocking the AMD Ryzen 5 8600G APU all the way up to 5,250 MHz in five minutes or less using the Gigabyte B650E Aorus Elite AX Ice motherboard and custom loop water cooling. I'll speed run you through the BIOS settings and provide some notes and tips along the way. Please note that this is for entertainment purposes only and not the whole picture. Don't just copy my settings and apply them to your CPU. If you want to learn how to overclock this CPU, have a look at the longer Scatterbencher video that's already up on this channel. All right, let's do this. When you've entered the BIOS, stay in easy mode. Set XMP Expo Profile to Expo 1. That makes the memory run at our Expo rated frequency of DDR5 6400 and associated memory timings. Enable XMP Expo High Bandwidth Support. This Gigabyte technology optimizes the memory timings to achieve better memory performance. Switch to Advanced Mode and go to the Settings menu. Enter the AMD Overclocking submenu. This will provide us with all the advanced AMD CPU overclocking tools. Click Accept. Enter the DDR and Infinity Fabric Frequency Timings submenu. Here we can adjust the system memory configuration as well as tune the Infinity Fabric and memory controller. Since we are using the Expo settings for this guide, we'll only fine tune the Infinity Fabric and memory controller frequency. Enter the Infinity Fabric and Dividers submenu. Set UClock Div 1 mode to UClock equals MemClock. This forces the memory controller to run at the same frequency as the system memory. Our memory frequency will be DDR5-6400, which is 3200 MHz. So the memory controller will run at 3.2 GHz. Leave the Infinity Fabric Frequency and Dividers submenu. Leave the DDR and Infinity Fabric Frequency Timings submenu. Enter the Precision Boost Overdrive submenu. Here we can use the AMD Precision Boost Overdrive 2 toolkit to increase the power, current and frequency headroom of the Precision Boost 2 boost algorithm. Set Precision Boost Overdrive to Advanced. Set PBO limits to Motherboard. This adjusts the PBO platform parameters, PPT, TDC and EDC, according to the motherboard auto rules. On this motherboard, we find that the following values have changed. Set CPU boost clock override to enabled positive. That unlocks the ability to increase the CPU's programmed Fmax or maximum frequency up to 200 MHz in steps of 25 MHz. Set max CPU boost clock override to 200. This increases the Fmax for each CPU core from 5050 MHz to 5250 MHz. Enter the Curve Optimizer submenu. Here's where the real magic happens, as Curve Optimizer allows us to fine-tune the VF curve for each core in a positive or negative direction. On the Ryzen 8000G processors, we can set the Curve Optimizer for all cores or per core. Set Curve Optimizer to per core. Set Core 0 to Core 5 Curve Optimizer Sign to negative. Setting a negative offset means the CPU will use less voltage for a given frequency and boost to a higher frequency at a specific voltage. Note that the Curve Optimizer settings are highly CPU specific, so you should find the best values for your CPU rather than just copying mine. I set the Curve Optimizer magnitude for each core according to my test result. Set Core 0 and Core 4 Curve Optimizer Magnitude to 40. Set Core 1, 3 and 5 Curve Optimizer Magnitude to 45. Set Core 2 Curve Optimizer Magnitude to 35. Leave the Curve Optimizer submenu. Leave the Precision Boost Overdrive submenu. Enter the SOC Uncore OC Mode submenu. Here we can enable OC Mode for the SOC Uncore IP blocks, which forces the Infinity Fabric Unified Memory Controller and System Memory to always run at their highest frequency. Set SOC Uncore OC Mode to Enabled. Leave the SOC Uncore OC Mode submenu. Enter the SOC Voltage submenu. Here we can increase the SOC voltage to a maximum of 1.3 volt on ambient cooling. We need to increase the SOC voltage to have the memory controller frequency run in sync with the system memory frequency. Set SOC voltage to 1300, then save and exit the BIOS. 
we rerun some benchmarks to ensure everything works as intended and check the performance increase compared to the default settings. Higher is better and all of our benchmark scores are higher. The GeoMean performance improvement is plus 7.52% and we get a maximum improvement of plus 16.07% in Geekbench 6 Multi. The highest core clock reported in the operating system is 5250 MHz. When running the all CCT CPU SSE stability test, the average CPU core effective clock is 5040 MHz with 1.322 volts. The average CPU temperature is 92.1 degrees Celsius. The average CPU package power is 108.7 watts. And that's it. I want to thank you for watching and I want to thank the Patreon supporters for their support and see you next time.